So in order to make a good presentation, you need three things, a clean design, good presentation skills, and data. Let me show you how to add dynamic charts to your Google Slides presentations using your Google Sheets data. And I'll also show you how to make sure that the two apps are linked properly so that your slides always show the most accurate and up-to-date information. This is Virtual Assistance. Tutorials, tech support, and troubleshooting in just a few clicks. Thanks for the click. The first thing I want you to do is open up your Google Slides presentations. Now to insert a chart, you're gonna to need to click on Insert, Chart, and then choose any one of the options here. Now, any of these options is gonna create a brand new Google Sheet, and then you can go in there, update the data, and that's gonna be reflected in your Google Slides presentation. But for this tutorial, we're gonna choose the From Sheets option. Now, I've been working on an Instacart report, saving all my data in there so that I could create some dynamic charts that looks like this. So in Google Slides, I'm gonna choose that report and then click Select. And then from here, I can import any specific chart from that Google Sheets presentation. Now, you might be wondering, well, why don't we just show the Google Sheet instead of bringing it all into Google Slides and showing it that way? Well, I'm gonna tell you, because it's your job as the presenter to make sure that the information you provide is as easy to understand as can possibly be for your audience. And by bringing it into Google Slides, you're gonna make it much easier for your audience to comprehend, and you're gonna have a lot easier time convincing them of what you're about to present using the charts that you bring in from your sheets. I'm gonna make sure that this link to spreadsheet option is checked. That makes sure that the data that we see in our slides is accurate and up to date. I'm gonna click import, and we see that that chart is now imported into my slides. So I wanna do a little bit of design work on this. It's a little bit big for this space here. So I'm gonna double click it and then drag in the crop lines from the right side, the left side, and then the bottom. And that'll adjust the framing a little bit. You can also add some more formatting options by right clicking the picture and choosing format options. I'm gonna add a drop shadow here and then also a reflection, give a little bit of, uh, of design there. Now, let's say that I've actually updated my Google Sheets. I've added another row of information. That's gonna make the charts a little bit out of date. But since we selected link to spreadsheet, we can actually go ahead and click the update button on any of our charts, and that's gonna update the chart with the most accurate information. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each of the charts on this slide here. And all the charts have now been updated. We also see it here on every single chart on this slide. Update, 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 update. One easy way to update every single chart is to go ahead and choose Tools, Linked Objects, and that's gonna show you a list of every single chart you have in your slides. If you click on this Update All button, that's gonna update every single chart in your presentation and everything's gonna be up to date. Now, you might see some formatting differences and you'll wanna go ahead, double check those and adjust these charts as necessary. Now, let's say that we have a chart like this here with the scatter plot and somebody raises their hand and they wanna see more information, you can click on this option in the upper right corner of the chart and click on open source. And that's actually gonna open the Google Sheets spreadsheet where I can go ahead and dive into some more information there for whoever is interested. As always, you wanna make sure that your slides are not very busy. There's not a lot of information on this slide here. You wanna make sure that the information is easy to digest and only use data to reinforce the points that you're talking about as you give your presentation. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if you need more help with your Google Apps, go ahead and click over to my website and click the tech support button and we'll get you all set up. If you wanna learn how to add videos to your Google Slides presentations, go ahead and click this video here. And if you need a refresher on Google Sheets, go ahead and click this video here. As always, stay focused, be productive, and flex those creative muscles.